I'll show you how to cook roasted sea bass fillet with some samphire and a shrimp velouté. So for the velouté, what we're going to start with is a white wine reduction with some shallots, garlic and thyme. So finely slice the shallot and just finely slice the garlic as well to remove the skin. Just add a couple of sprigs of thyme. White wine. So once you add the wine to the shallots, garlic and thyme, reduce it down to about a third of its original volume. Next we're going to quickly prepare the samphire. Doesn't really need much doing to it. Just nip the end off. And we're going to just finely chop the chives. Nice sharp knife. Just snip through them. And then quickly score the sea bass. So give the fillet a pinch just to raise that middle section backwards and forwards with your knife. So once the white wine has reduced enough, you add your fish stock. Once it comes up to the boil, reduce it by half. Then add your double cream. Add some salt. So once the cream comes up to the boil, your sauce is pretty much done. And then we just need to pass it off. We want to get rid of all the shallots and the thyme and the garlic. Then we're going to quickly roast the sea bass. So season both sides. Hot pan, some olive oil, and then skin side down. We're just looking for the edges to go golden brown. Then we can flick it over, cook the other, cook the flesh side. The samphire takes a minute to cook, just in boiling water. So whilst the fish is finishing cooking, the samphire is just, just blanching. Reheat your velouté, add your brown shrimps and the chives. And your dish is ready to serve. So just drain the samphire, get rid of all the excess liquid as it comes out of the water. Squeeze the lemon juice on the sea bass. And then just finish with a little pool of the velouté. So there you have roasted sea bass with samphire and a shrimp velouté.